Hi, I'm Mark Samuels, executive producer of American Experience, and we've got two great films coming up this fall on PBS. Tesla's sort of in the ether. There's cars named after him, and there's sort of a cult following of Tesla. He's one of those people in history that was not just a few years, but a century ahead of his time. He envisioned a world of wireless communication, wireless energy. A guy who arguably created the world of electricity that we rely upon so much. That's our world. He also saw a lot of other things. He saw communication that he thought was coming from Martians. He saw a way to send energy to everybody in the world for free. He also became known as a madman, and that makes him a really fascinating character, that he was both this genius visionary and someone whose vision and talent took him right to the edge of madness. The Battle of Chosen is one of those very important American stories that very few people know about. It takes place in November 1950, and it's a turning point in the Korean War. It's one of the most brutal battles that American troops have ever been involved with. The situation is that there are 15,000 American troops, mostly Marines, some Army troops, moving north to the Yalu River in North Korea in a surprise attack by 100,000 Chinese soldiers. It was fought in temperatures when as low as 50 below zero. It was snowing, it was in the mountains. Hands froze, fingers froze. It was hard to get food, it was hard to get medical care. Yet, it is also remembered as one of the heroic moments for American forces. It's a story I think that should go down in memory along the likes of Gettysburg and D-Day, but it hasn't. And I hope that the people watching it will see why it merits that attention. Coming up in April is a remarkable miniseries about the Great War for the 100th anniversary of America's entry into the First World War. The Great War is a very poorly understood moment in American history, but I think it's one of the most pivotal. And it has all these resonances with our world today.